Hello! So I'd like to start today by saying a big thank you to all the support I'm getting on my motorcycle clothing video. And uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about coffee. Now, if you've seen a channel called 40 Times Around with a guy called Tim, he talks everything about motorcycle, camping, travel and adventure. Um, he's recently done a video about coffee and he's showing this ingenious little device to make a, a mocha or espresso, something really uh, tasty. But I'd like to share with you my method of making a coffee, which is a bit more old fashioned. Let's begin. So you may have noticed I haven't got my motorbike with me today and uh, that's because this is not my ideal conditions for riding and of course without the protective gear it's probably very unwise for me to be out riding. So uh, let's get on with my coffee. The first thing I'm going to do is talk about my day bag. Now uh, this ground sheet came from the day bag already. This is a Romix fold up ground sheet and inside I've got a plate. Behind that I've got some paper towels. I've got a cloth some jungle wipes, a solar charger, cutlery, lantern, torch, a lighter that can be refilled from the bike's own fuel supply, coffee, sugar, things like that, a pen knife, obviously my stove, and in here, this is a packing cube, this is actually filled with utensils for an overnight stay, so you've got a shower gel, toothbrush, toothbrush, beer bottle opener, a bit of underarm spray, and uh, of course tin foil so that I can wrap up something if I need to cook it without the need of taking a frying pan and water purification tablets so this bag really is a kit that's ready to go at any time so the first thing I want to do is link up my stove So this coffee maker comes in a couple of sections. We've got the top where the coffee ends up. We've got the little uh, funnel that holds the coffee and we've got our water reservoir. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill up that water reservoir. There we go. And then the next thing we're gonna do is put in our little funnel and that's followed by our preferred brand of coffee. Now, at the moment, I'm using Laos coffee since I really like it. Almost tastes a bit like uh, old chewing tobacco, which probably isn't a good advertisement for it. But uh, it's really nice. It gives you a lot of energy. And first thing in the morning, that's what you need. So after that's complete, this section screws on. And uh, of course, that's going to come up through this little pipe here and fill up our jug. So now we just wait. So I mentioned a moment ago I carry tin foil for cooking. Another thing you can use tin foil for is making a heat surround. So basically, you take a strip of tin foil and you wrap it round the base of your fire like that. It will trap all the heat inside and that way you'll maximize your, your gas usage and the thing will get hot quicker. So we'll just leave that to cook. So it's been about a minute and a half and uh, as you can see we've nearly uh, full our pot up with fresh coffee and I'm sure that's going to taste absolutely amazing. Right I'd say that's now safe to turn off the heat. And, uh... So first the golden rule with any coffee and that is of course sugar and milk first so just have one heat teaspoon of sugar. It's enough for me it's getting on for the evening now course nice bit of snow cold fresh milk that should be about perfect so that's how I make my favorite cup of coffee uh, of course that's slightly impractical to carry sometimes especially on uh, a long distance camping trip but uh, it does make a good coffee so thanks for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>